Welcome to the ET335 how-to video for the Quartus Adder Circuits and VHDL Lab. Here we have a half adder circuit and we need to convert it to a Boolean equation then to a VHDL equation. So we're going to have two equations. C equation and an S equation. So we're going to have A B plus A plus B bar plus a bar over all of it. So this one's going to be C equals A and B and S is going to be not A and B b or not a or b and we need a parenthesis around the whole thing and that's it okay here we are cordis and this will be the same it's on our vmware and we're going to try and do a adder circuit half adder so let's go ahead and start with a new project we're going to call this project half adder and what happened there okay and we're going to delete it because I've already done this before here it might be should be blank so let's go ahead and get something off of the desktop I'm going to grab this one and let's add it and I'm going to go back and figure out okay Altera SP1 okay next and okay and we're going to go to Cyclone 2 484 20 FC6 and it shouldn't make any difference because we're going to do a simulation and not have a board and finish and let's open up the files all right so we're going to save this one save as and we're going to go to E where mine was let's see E whoops E Altera good and I'm going to save this one as half adder so everything needs to match perfectly otherwise it will have issues good and then now you can take this guy and you're going to remove it from the project let's double click all right so first thing we need to do is change all our entities to half adder And let's just copy and paste that and there should be three of them we need to fix and it's best to start with a file that way we have all of the syntax we need so we're going to have a and b in that's still correct and then we're going to have c and s out carry in some okay and then now we need to do is we need to make two equations and I'm going to copy and paste so we could keep the good stuff so the first one's going to be C and that's just going to be A and B and VHDL is not case sensitive so pretty much it'll take anything and we're going to need S and we're going to have we're going to have not okay so we're going to have not A and B okay and then we 
we're going to put another parenthesis around here because oops we'll have to come back and do that okay not a and b or not uh, a a or b okay so we have a and b or not a and b and we're going to finish our there we go so that should go all the way all right what's going on okay now we're matched up we don't really need those there but let's go ahead and yep and this should go all the way in and these parentheses should be here good so let's go ahead and compile and see if it's working and it's looking good okay so we had a successful um compile so let's go ahead and do our wave form so we're going to go to university program vwf and we are going to go edit insert loader bus node finder click on no and then we're going to go list double arrow okay okay and here we're going to put in a clock and we're going to leave it at the 10 nanoseconds next one we're going to do clock again and we're going to do 20 nanoseconds so we get a binary count and out let's make sure that this is going to be binary good and radix binary good so let's go to simulation options let's try quarter simulator sometimes model sim has problems and we're not worried concerned about accuracy so let's run a functional and we should get a window and everything's green that's good 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 all right okay here's our waveform for our half adder circuit so c equals carry and s equals sum so if we have zero plus zero we're going to have zero carry and zero sum okay if we have one zero we're going to have one sum zero carry zero one we're going to have sum one carry zero so if we have one one we're going to have a sum of zero and a carry of one so this is correct okay here i've run the vhdl code for our decoder and it has eight inputs so i had to go ahead and use our clock and go down and i had to cut it in half so the first one's five then 10 20 40 80 160 320 and otherwise it won't go beyond a thousand and this big chart here and we're only going to look at where it's one this is the only way that this will light the led is right here so let's take a close look at that okay here's a slice of our waveform and our output is one which will light our led and we're going to start off at a and go all the way down to h and if we look here we have one one and that is going to be a NAND gate and it's going to output a zero and then we have an OR gate I 
patch uh, we'll back here and the next one's an OR gate zero zero which gives a zero next one's an OR gate zero zero gives a zero and the last one is a NAND gate a one one which is going to give us a zero and all of these feeding into a multi input NOR gate all these zeros are going to give us a one out which is going to light the LED so it's correct